This is Twit. You know, this morning, right before the interview, the U.S. Supreme Court kind of shocked me by ruling that uh, law enforcement should not have access to cell phone location information without a warrant, without probable cause, eliminating a massive market <laughs> in cell phone location information, selling it to law enforcement. I'm sure AT&T and Verizon and T-Mobile and yeah. Sprint are all pissed off. Uh, but doing a lot to protect our privacy. We've seen uh, law enforcement, the FBI, complain again and again that they're going dark, that encryption tools like yeah. yours have given them less access to criminal activity. But on the other hand, there's, there is a law called Zimmerman's Law that as technology increases, the ability to surveil will increase. Which is it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, yeah, um, there is... Uh, so much, it, it's the golden age of surveillance. Uh, there's surveillance everywhere. There's um, cameras on the streets. Uh, I mean, you see this in London and also in China, where you have millions of cameras on every street corner, you know, looking at people walking by. And behind those, um, behind those cameras are facial recognition algorithms. And and so you can identify everyone walking down the street, everyone, thousands of people walking by, you can identify all of them. And this power increases over time. Um, but it's also traffic cameras that read license plates of cars. You know, if you run a red light, you can get a ticket, uh, which is uh, good that, you know, that I mean, for that purpose, maybe that's OK. But they're also using it to keep track of where all the cars are going so that you can just track people everywhere they drive their car. Uh, and then of course, we're embracing self-driving cars uh, and those are in constant touch with servers that keep track of where you are. And uh, they'll tell you where the next place you could plug in to recharge your batteries. And so what we have is, and plus there's, you know, credit card transactions and airline tickets and, uh, you know, there's a, there's this vast sea of surveillance and it's, there, it's fused together into this kind of total information awareness. And this is the golden age of surveillance. And um, for them to demand that we not have end-to-end -end encryption, it's kind of like this big display where there's a, 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 just a few black pixels where they can't see it. And uh, I don't want to hand over the last few pixels to them uh, just so they have a completely flawless display where they, you know, where well they said. have 100% of the pixels covered. I'd rather hang tenaciously on to these last few pixels. Uh, and um, I can't do anything about a lot of the other surveillance they have, but, you know, I think they've got it pretty easy. Where well, they're not going dark. Uh, having a few tiny little pixels left for us and our privacy is not, it's not going dark. Phil Zimmerman, God bless you. Thank you so much for the work you've done and are doing. Uh and for preserving those last few pixels. We really appreciate it. PhilZimmerman.com, Z-I-M-M-E-R-M-A-N-N. It's got, <laughs> it's got uh, three right. M's and two N's. Don't forget it. <laughs> Phil, That's right, two N's. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want it to be another 15 years before we talk. I hope we'll talk again real soon. Yeah. Thank you so much sure. for your time today. I really appreciate it. Okay. Creator of My Pil pleasure. PGP. I can't imagine somebody more important to uh, today's privacy discussion. And I am very proud to have been a PGP user since, since I talked to Phil. Not since he started it 27 years ago. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Yeah, I was younger and thinner then. <laughs> Thank you for your time today, <laughs> Phil. I really appreciate it.